Welcome back into Talking Pittsburgh. Joey Day for the Pittsburgh Public Library. Are two of our greatest librarian. Would you say you're the greatest? Since nobody else is here, nobody's listening. I guess. So. Oh no! Don't say it. You <laughs> you're like, well, I, I, I say don't it. say that. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, I, ha happy holidays. I'm certainly glad to have you both here. Lots of things happening at the library. So much fun this time of year mm -hmm. um, because it's sort of like we're going to talk about what I'm going to call oasis away from if you need to get away and have some fun because mm -hmm. um, the holidays can be intense at, at times uh, but you're always there even when the holidays aren't there there's always stuff going on at the library and that's why these two are going to fill you in uh, with yes. some great information mm -hmm. so we're going to start with the adult services side of things mm -hmm. uh, you have a stack of books here i do I, I don't think we've ever seen that many books yes. on the Talking Fitchburg set. What mm -hmm. do we got going on? Well, we have all our book clubs. So we have um, four monthly book clubs that are going on. And so I've just brought all the books so we could tell, share with what's going on this month with each one. All right. Well, while you're talking about it, okay. I'm going to go get started here. All right. <laughs> First one is the Good Yarn Book Club, where we have the all, all Creatures Great and Small. Um, Nonfiction book about a veterinarian in rural England in the 30s, 40s, 1930s, 40s. Best selling classic. Yes. Just saying. It's also a new series on PBS, too. So. Is it really? Mm hmm. Oh, good enough. Very, very good one, too. Book right. number two. Next up Lessons in Chemistry. What? Yes. Who picks out these things, by the way? Like, do you have to, like, read through them and then, like, So the book get clubs, the, whoever runs it, they create a long list and then the uh, book club participants vote uh, which which books they want. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, more you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, continuing on. Um, so that's the Wednesday morning book club, um, December 13th. And then we have the evening book club. This is the evening book club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leading the way for you. Here. That's good. <laughs> What's the book? <laughs> River of the Gods. Uh, and that is about the search for the source of the Nile. Oh, the Nile River, something else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So far, they've picked really good. Yeah, yes. there's snow stuff out of the way here. <laughs> We're talking adult stuff here. We'll get to you. That's a nice variety to have. Um, and finally, we have our fantasy book club on December 14th. And this one is about a retired band of mercenaries who come out of retirement to save one of their daughters. Really? Yeah. It says on the cover here, it says, absolutely awesome. Like, I don't know that I've ever said that on this show. Mm -hmm. Absolutely Absol awesome. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody is interested in participating in any of these great book clubs, how do they get involved? So um, we have the books available at the reference desk on the second floor at the library. They can just stop by and check out the book, or if they have their own copy, they can read that and then just show up at the book club on our times, and they can find all of those listed on our website. Fantastic. You've been invited to quite the, quite the <laughs> uh, spread for, for the month of uh, December. But, yes. uh, mm -hmm. And you only get one month to read it? Like, do you have yes. to, like, like hammer through this? Like, well, They have the lists ha ahead of time, so if you wanted to, like, get a jump start, you could. But the books are generally yeah, available a month at a time. That's good to know, because yeah. I'm not a fast reader, so it might take me a little time to get through those. Not that this is about me, but it's about you. Get yes. involved in these yeah. clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, and I don't know if this is, I can say fairly, that you brought this back, but Saturday matinee... It's been a while, right? It has been a while since okay. we've had okay. a movie, so yeah, yeah. So we have Saturday matinee. Have we're usually doing classics. Um, so this month for December is going to be Rebecca, and that's on Saturday, December 9th at three thirty. What is Rebecca? So I've read this story, <laughs> and I have a follow up because I may have been saying this wrong. <laughs> Nothing like doing it on air, clearing things up while we're doing an interview. Uh, but what's what's Rebecca about? First off. Do you know, or did I just put you on the spot? You kind of put me on the spot. I know I've seen it, but it's been a long time. You know what? It's... Nick has probably seen this movie, so I'll ask him a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hear it, but he just laughed like, oh, man, I don't know. All right, the one thing that I was saying, are you allowed to bring popcorn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe I just put you on the <laughs> No. I said, so I read this story and I was like, maybe there'll be popcorn. And yes. then I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But, no. uh, we, you know. I mean, we're not serving it, but you're welcome to bring snacks and beverages in the library. So you can bring in your own snacks and beverages and take a little break from reading all your book club books. And 
Have Christmas you just shopping? banned me from like the adult <laughs> section of the, 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 the like I All right, well we're gonna move on to the kids' library part because that's where I'm supposed to be. Uh, a lot of fun things happen in the youth services department uh, at all times of year, but the crafts this time of year are just so much fun. Mm -hmm. So let's start with some of the crafts that you're gonna be doing uh, for the rest of uh, this year, and you can say that too. This year, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have a lot of cool crafts. Um, for kids of all ages, on December 15th, we're going to be doing a melted snow person Don't worry, craft we practice this. For yes. preschool age kids. <laughs> it's at 11 a.m. And then later on in the day, there's Crafternoon, which is for ages 5 to 12. And we'll be doing a bunch of other snow person related themed crafts. And that's just one example. <laughs> Okay, we said that you were going to hold them, so I totally blew that. Uh, why is crafts good? By the way, uh, there's a reason behind doing crafts and kids. Getting kids involved at, at an early age with crafts, uh, it benefits why? Well, it just helps them develop their fine motor skills, their creativity, and I think for a lot of kids, it just gives them a break away from a lot of the pressures of school and life in general. So, yeah, we just hope it's a fun oasis for kids to come to the library and just craft. Right, and you'd be amazed, like... Kids can craft, you know. I, I was saying before we got on, we used to do some crafts on the show, and I think it was more about me failing on making the craft look <laughs> exactly the way it was supposed to look. But but those fine skills and, and just following some directions, yeah. doing some hands-on things, that's what I like about the library. It's more than just mm -hmm. reading. It's, it's getting yeah. involved, uh, coming together, and having some fun. And I say that as we transition into uh, the other winter programs that you have going on. So fill us in on a couple other programs uh, uh, outside of this. Yeah, so um, we also have a winter-themed scavenger hunt going on in the youth department, which is a really fun way for kids to kind of tour around the department. Um, they can grab a sheet and then find all of 10 pictures that are hidden around the library of winter-themed things. And if they find all 10 of them, they can stop by the desk for a free sticker, which is always a highlight for a lot of kids in the youth department. That stickers are awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't love a sticker? I, I would have one on right now if I... You know, remember to grab that, but uh, no, they are really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also have, um, and I mentioned the oasis of the library, uh, of, of just stepping away during the holiday season. Uh, it is, there are a lot of spaces that just come and hang at the library and just chillax and uh, mm -hmm. you wanted to emphasize that and I there's just something calming about our library <laughs> and the libraries in general but there's a lot of fun spaces to hang out mm -hmm. yeah as people end up with extra time over the holidays maybe getting together with loved ones um, I think the library really provides a great space for people to come and share you know special books that maybe they had from their childhood or kids can bring grandparents there's just a lot of intergenerational ways that people can experience the library and we love to we love to provide that space for people. It is really nice to just kind of break away from, from everything that's going on. You can check the holiday hours, by the way. You have some a little bit different hours than City Hall for some of the closures coming up. So mm -hmm. make sure you check that during the holiday season because yes. uh, you guys are open sometimes when we aren't over here. Uh, finally, something that's awesome, uh, and you, we have a few of these now, but the free libraries. You have a cool one that just went up at uh, Southdale Park. Uh, they're just so much fun. What is a free library and how does it work? So um, it's a free book exchange where people can take a book, leave a book. Uh, Minda, our outreach librarian, kind of spearheaded that. It's um, currently at the Southdale Park on the concrete pad there. And it has books for all ages in English and Spanish. And we just hope that it provides a great resource for that community. It's nice to have it, yeah, out there because it can be hard to get over here sometimes to the library. So mm -hmm. it provides that. So people can just come take books, bring books yeah. back, and, and you will circulate them as well, right? Um, yeah, it'll they'll be refreshed um, regularly. So yeah, there should always be um, a wide variety of materials there for people to access. All right. Well, this was a wild segment as usual. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but if uh, folks want to get involved uh, in the library this holiday season or any time of the year, uh, what would you say the best way to stay informed besides watching this awesome segment each and every month? Yeah, um, going to our website, we have all our programs listed on there. We have a uh, link to our newsletter that you can print off, hang on your, your refrigerator or something. Sell it, sell it, yeah. put it on the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you can get a sticker if you take the scavenger hunt. I mean, you know, yeah. There, what's and then better reminder hang it up with your sticker. <laughs> Thank you both so much for coming out here. Stop at the library, lots of fun stuff going on. We'll keep reminding you of all the events going on too uh, throughout the rest of the year and every day because that's 
something happens at the library every yes, day. Like, literally. True. It's true. So, all right. Thank you both. Happy holidays. Yeah. We'll see thank you next you. year. All right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>